juice fast and now I am coming down and I'm eating foods. When I um, do, when I finish, I always still want lots of raw foods and salads and good stuff like that for a while. So, but I like to incorporate the, the cooked foods as well. So I'm going to be making a breakfast salad. And you might say, okay, it's one o'clock. Why is she making a salad at one o'clock? I intermittent fast and sometimes I don't eat until around one or two o'clock in the afternoon. So this is why I am um, making a breakfast salad right now. So if you don't know who I am, I am Brooke Brin, founder of Vegan Soul Foodie. And yeah, let's get it started. I'm gonna go ahead and um, grate some potatoes and I'm gonna air fry. So those are going to end up being my crispy potatoes. And if you don't know, the orientation of board is me cooking and then I get a little bigger. But I'm going to make myself small right now so you can see more of the board. There. See my board, my bacon and stuff. We'll get to that. In a minute. So I'm going to grate the potato. And I'm making a breakfast salad this morning. Okay. Now, if you're watching this on the replay, if you would not mind keep typing in the words replay. And if you don't already follow me, please follow my page on Amazon and on Facebook because it matters. It is my mission to introduce people to more fruits and vegetables and the way that I have to do that is by getting more people to see me and you're, you can be a part of that. If you know people who love this that are your followers, please share with them. Share it on your page. A nice breakfast salad. And you know, I'm scraping down, I'm uh, grating down my potatoes, but you could just get a bag of grated potatoes if you want. You don't have to grate them down. But also, you see how easy it is to grate them down. We haven't been on here very long. Let's see how long. Oh, yeah. So far, this has taken me about three minutes to do. You see, I got a good bit of potatoes ready to go into my air fryer. They'll be nice and crispy. Okay? So, you can do it from scratch and it won't take that much. Just keep that in mind. It won't take that much to do it yourself. Now, I have my air fryer already lined up with parchment. I'm just going to put these inside. And I'll try to lay them as thin as I can because I want them to be crispy. But you know, the air fryer is going to make sure it gets lots of heat all around, so that's good. Okay, now. A thing you don't want to miss when you're air frying is spraying. Spraying with oil is really going to crisp these things up. You don't want to miss out on that. It's a good, it's an essential step. Just looking for my salt and pepper, sorry. I keep forgetting to fill up my, my um, salt grinder. The pink salt. So we're going to put a little pepper. And this one is a little smoked chili salt because I have to fill up my regular salt grinder. So we're going to use some chili salt, which won't hurt it at all. Just going to add more flavor. Okay, sprayed it up. And now we're going to put that into the air fryer. I'm 
going to show you my air fryer in just two seconds. Okay. Okay, so here is my air fryer. I'm going to put it on. And it says five minutes, but 400, yes, we'll leave it on that. But I want to give it a few more minutes, like 10 minutes. Hope you guys can see that okay. And I'm going to go ahead and start it. Now, some people, this preheating right here, some people don't put it in until that's done. I just tend to put mine in, and then it will beep when it's preheated. And then that's when the 10 minutes will start, and not before. So it's not going to start before that. Okay. All right, so now we're back. Now, that's off my board. pieces off. Okay. So the next step of what we're going to do is we have some vegan bacon and also some asparagus. I'm going to rinse off my asparagus. Asparagus rinsed off. that in a minute and I'm going to cut off the ends of this um, I'm going to pop this in the microwave for like just a few to thaw it out So I have my asparagus here and I want to grill them to go on my salad. So my salad will definitely have raw things and cooked things. I'm gonna have all the things. Okay. Let me cut the ends off. Because sometimes they're a little chewy. You can save these for a stock or to juice. Anything you might want to do so that you're reducing food weights, you can, um, maybe you saw my video where I, uh, I broiled veggies that were about to go bad and I made a veggie paste for it. And then I ended up using that to make meatballs for the unhoused. So no waste, right? No waste. I want to cut these in half. And I'm going to go ahead and place them on my baking sheet. Kind of single layer. And these are going to be yummy inside of my salad. use a little olive oil a 
little pepper. And I'm going to use a little, ooh, little garlic powder. That'll just make them more flavorful. And then I'm going to put these in another one of my air fryers because I have a couple. I have several air fryers. And if you have a convection toaster oven, that is actually an air fryer. So that's what I mean by my other air fryer. It's a form of air frying. So I'm going to put it in there first. I'm going to get that one ready. Get the other one ready. the baking sheet ready. Forgive the noise, you know. Just me kitchen cooking in my kitchen, that's all. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and put some more parchment on that. And pull out this vegan bacon that I have thawed out, thawed out a little bit. I just want to make it so I can lay it out. It doesn't have to be perfect because obviously the heat from the air fryer is going to thaw it out too. But I want to lay it out some and then I come back and I kind of move it around later. If you're watching this from my group, you have to go over to Amazon to chat with me because I cannot see if, questions if you have any. And I put that link right there in the caption for you, I believe. Okay, so these two things are going into the air fryer. So I'm going to put that over here. Okay, so I wanted to show you my air fryer. Presto magic, right? Okay, so this is my Oster air fryer. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the highest setting. Set it. And we'll get back to it in a minute. Okay. So I have two air fryers going now with things that I want inside of my salads. And if you're in... The vegan soul foodie group remember i announced a few days ago that we were going to be doing a salad challenge so all my lives will be involving some kind of salad starting in july i did one to kick it off the last couple days of june which was I'm trying to remember what kind of salad it was it was uh I literally can't remember what I mean. But the point is, I'll be doing salads all June. You can go back and look at look down on the page or in my past Amazon live and you'll see what salad it was. Because it's law, it's just flown out of my mind. Okay, so now we have our cooked things going. We need to start with chopping. show you real fast my potatoes how crisp they have already gotten very crisp I'm gonna flip them over so you see how quickly I'm making essentially crispy hash browns in the air fryer pretty fast I'm gonna just take these off the off the paper. Let's 
save as much as I can. I want these to be crispy on my salad. Okay. So good to go there. Very nice. Pepper on this side. Salt on this side. Oil on this side. And they'll crisp up. They'll be crisp on both sides. Okay, let's start. Let's start chopping the things that are going in our salad. And as you can see, this salad's not going to take long at all. Not going to take long at all. making a breakfast salad. I'm going to post a picture of this salad in the group with the hashtag VSF salads. And for the month of July, we are showing our salads and we are connecting them with the hashtag VSF salads. So if you have a salad you want to show, don't forget to use the hashtag. a uh, English cucumber here. I don't need the whole thing. So let's cut some of it off. I'm going to flatten it out so it's easy to chop. Easy bite-sized pieces so that people, when they chew their salad, it's all on a fork. They don't have to do a bunch of cutting and breaking it down. Just stick your fork. And I have some sweet onion here, Vidalia.
Okay, so now we're going to kind of start our salad. Let's Actually, before I assemble the salad, there is one more thing I need to do, and that is make the eggs that I'm going to put in the salad. So I'm gonna make a vegan egg. Oop, that's too much. I'm gonna make a vegan egg uh, for us. Go inside of our. a little onion in there. I'm going to move this around. This is margarine, 100% plant-based. Turn this down a bit. So I started to get high. I'm moving it down to about medium. I'm going to put my medium egg inside. Put my vegan egg inside. Egg on our vegan on egg on our breakfast. Try to keep it moving. This is a non stick hex clad pan, very easy for things like this egg, this vegan egg, which can be sticky but not on this pan. 
it's not sticky. And this is the kind of non-stick pan that doesn't, the non-stick part doesn't rub, up, rub off. Something in the technology is non-stick without having any of that coating. So I love that. So you can even use a still wool scrubby on here and it's going to clean it up just fine and the non-stick will not go away ever because it doesn't have that coating. air fryer's doing okay these are my potatoes ready to go i'm gonna set them aside keep working with our just egg oh i didn't season it one second one second Got it. it comes with onion powder inside of the product which is cool but you know you always need salt and pepper i like to also put a little um herb on it as well so i might get some of that from my, from my garden today there we go i have it on medium right now so it's not too high and if as long as i just keep moving it around it won't stick Moving our egg around. And this I'm making a breakfast salad. So I'm going to have some vegan eggs, vegan bacon, crispy potatoes, and veggies over a salad. Because when I get done raw and juice fasting, I still really want a lot of raw vegetables. So I'm just mixing some cool things, I mean some cooked things, in with my salad. Okay, these are about done. No sticking. You see, I use a rubber spatula. So I'm going to turn those off. And bring you guys back. Hello again. Um, so we're going to go back to the board. Those eggs are ready. Take them off the heat. Asparagus are ready. Maybe I could crisp them, crisp them up a little bit more. I think I'm going to let them crisp, crisp just a little bit more. I like the char on mine. So the bacon that I put in that was a little bit frozen, now I'm just kind of Separating it, we kind of thawed all the way out. Just kind of separating it, letting it uh, let it be by itself, and then I'll let it crisp up. Okay, now, oh, one more thing before we assemble the salad. I know I keep saying I'm going to assemble the salad, but one more thing we need a good dressing.
today I'm going to go into my cookbook here and what you can get on Amazon. I'm going to make a lemon. Let's see. I think I have a lemon one in here. I want. Yeah, lemon Dijon. I think that would go very good with our salad. So I'm going to make a lemon Dijon dressing. Just gonna use a lemon. I'm gonna wash it off because it's dressing. This recipe also calls for zest, and this is an organic lemon. So this is an organic lemon. So when you're trying to do a zest or any skin, but make sure you're kind of using organic so you're not getting all the pesticides and things like that okay so I'm going to squeeze my lemon this one's really juicy because it's been sitting for a minute and I should have zested it first but I forgot we're going to zest it now Zest before you squeeze it. Just zesting this organic lemon and for some reason I'm not getting any zest let me see if I can do another one yeah see how much easier it is when you have a whole lemon then instead of trying to get it from a deflated lemon so I got lots of zest there Put it inside again this is organic so you want the skin oop, to be organic so you're not getting pesticides you know when you're zesting okay all right so that zest has a lot of lemon oil so that will give it a really lemony taste and I'm making a lemon Dijon dressing that comes out of my dips dressings um, gravy recipe Guys, I'm gonna take the seeds out. I don't know how they snuck in there. Okay. Now we got the lemon. We need some extra virgin olive oil. Fourth of a cup. We need a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Believe it or not, I'm out, so I'm going to use horseradish mustard, which would be good. It has a little bit of a bite. And I need some garlic. Grated or pressed. Okay, got a little skin in there. So move it. If you don't have agave, you can use maple syrup. 
two tablespoons. Okay, now we're just gonna whisk that together. We need some salt and pepper. Use some flake pepper on that I got from Alaska and a little pepper. Mix them up. Give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Very good. A little bit more salt. Today to be a little bit more lemony. I'm gonna add one more juice in here. Just because I want to feel that lemon punch today. I want it to be really punchy. Oh yeah, that's it, yummy. Okay, so we're gonna close that up. Lemon design. And out of my recipe guide, which is on Amazon. Let's check our asparagus. Okay, our asparagus has been have been grilling. I think they look really good. Mm hmm They turned amazing. Now it's time to assemble this salad. So I have some spring mix here. I'm gonna rinse it. This package does not say triple wash. I like it to say triple wash. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna wash it a couple times. If it said triple wash, I would go ahead and use it. I'm going to wash it and then I'm going to put it in my salad spinner. And if you don't use a salad spinner, it's a good thing to use. And I will tell you why. If you have a really good salad, and you know how you put it away and it's like, ugh, it went bad the next day. It's a little wilted. When you use a salad spinner, I don't know, because it brings out all the liquid or whatever, that salad is nice and fresh the next day. So I've been using a salad spinner for quite a while and I really love it. So this is going to make the greens nice and see that liquid in the bottom there? Brings out all the liquid, makes the greens nice and dry, and I'm going to place them inside of my dish. 
And this is a salad for three that I'm making today. Breakfast salad. I'm also going to put some spinach in here. It is triple wash, so in it goes. So a little mixed green and a little spinach. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put my tomatoes in and my cucumbers, my onion. Just start putting in my veggies. Kind of pile that in. I didn't chop up avocado, but I'm putting that in today too. So give me a minute on the avocado because I want it. I want an avocado in there, so we're going to do it. Have a good ripe one. Let's see if I won the avocado. Whoa, I did. The avocado lottery I won today. Some days you don't win. You don't know. You never know. But today... I won the, oh, look at that beautiful avocado. I won the lottery today. Don't forget if you're watching this on the replay, type replay for me. And also share and like the page. Give me a like, give me a share. Let me know that you're there. Give me a like, give me a share. Let me know that you're there. I like that. Just made that up. Just made that up on my own. <laughs> give me a like. Give me a share. Let me know that you're there. Anyway, let me cut this avocado. Beautiful. Beautiful avocado. Okay. I'm going to put that into, into the salad. Mix it up a little bit. So everybody gets a bite. Okay, salad looking good. It's gonna be a breakfast salad. Okay, out of my air fryer comes my bacon. Just gonna put it on my board and chop it up. Just kind of stack it. And then chop it. And this vegan bacon is going to go great with that avocado. All those veggies. Yeah, and the lemon. Okay. That's good enough. I'm going to put it in strips and into the salad. Vegan bacon. Hmm, that's delicious. Mm hmm. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get our potatoes. Chop those up. Remember, I made crispy potatoes in my air fryer because I wanted some crispy potatoes on my breakfast salad. So here we go, crispy potatoes. Hmm. So crispy. That's going to be nice. Mmm, I think I'm going to wait and put that on the end. That's nice and crispy. Almost like a crouton. And we have our... It's 
asparagus just going to drop those into the salad mm-hmm nice and tasty lastly going to put our scrambled egg because this is a breakfast salad right so we have a little bacon a little egg a little potato lots of veggies and dressing and lastly i'm going to drop those crunchy potatoes on top hash browns that i made Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. Now, I also have a little shaved parmesan. Gonna put that on top. Just a couple pieces of shaved parmesan on top. And there we go. Breakfast salad. Now, this dressing I'm gonna reserve because it's three people eating this salad. They might want to have something a little creamy, they might want to choose a different dressing. So I'm not going to pour that over it and waste everybody's salad, but I'm going to feed the music. Breakfast salad. Breakfast salad, guys. If you wanna cook breakfast salad. Yummy yummy. You can cook Any dressing you want. I made a lemon Dijon dressing. Dressing out of my dips and dressing cook. Don't forget to hit the replay, share, like, and follow this channel. Yeah. If you wanna make it right, you better I didn't take too long. Just about an hour. <laughs> 